نحمد رسول کریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری واہل العبدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی صدنی علم آمین ٹوڈے انشاءاللہ وی گونا ڈو جز ایٹ پارٹ ون انگلش فہم القرآن انشاءاللہ ویل سی شارٹ سمری and uh, we'll see the uh, detail inshallah uh, we are doing talimul quran clips later but right now we are covering in ramadan uh, fahmul quran short summary today we're going to start from suratul an'am ayah number 111 a'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim walau annana nazzalna ilayhimul malaikata every created thing in front of them they would not believe unless Allah should but most of them are ignorant why? because they are yajhalun from jahal they are ignorant the Prophet ﷺ was presenting the truth to the people with the complete evidence with complete logical proof but those who did not wish to believe kept arguing in different ways you know they are arguing in different ways and rejected the message of Prophet ﷺ. Over here, you know, Rasulullah ﷺ is being comforted that do not worry if the people do not believe. It is not because you are doing your job uh, properly, but you are conveying properly. The fault is in these people. You know, the people, if they don't agree, don't worry about it. Because the fact is that even if every proof brought to them, even the angels are sent to them, the dead come back to them, tell them to believe in you, they will not believe. Still, they won't believe. So, uh, here, they will not believe in you. Why? Because a person who does not wish to believe, then no matter what is said to him, it will not make a difference to him. So, why? What's the reason? The reason is that truth is not defective. The defect is where? In the vision. Their vision is, you know, and the uh, defect is where? In their hearts. The effect is in the defect is in the way they looked at the truth so this is something that you know understandable that if a person his angel of um, his angle of vision is not correct the way he look at the things in is not correct and then what happens even the most beautiful thing can be seem distorted isn't it like for example if you have something very beautiful in front of you but you close your eyes a little bit you could uh, say that oh it's not the that much you know why because you close your eyes you're not opening it you are not looking at it so recognize the truth is necessity that we look at it correctly we look at it without any bias okay without any bias so these people when they do not wish to believe then what happens even the haq even the kalam of allah even the words of the most truthful man what happens they seem to be defective so messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam is comforted here you are doing your job if the people do not understand it it's their fault and thus we have made for the uh, every prophet and enemy devil from mankind and jinn inspiring to one another decorated speech in delusion but if your lord had will they would not have done it so leave them that which they invent and it is for the hearts of those who disbelieve in the hereafter will incline towards it the fact is that there is a lot of negative speech negative propaganda against the quran against rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam against the command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are many people who were easily influenced by the propaganda isn't it like here also like these days we we notice that who are they allah says it is the heart of those who disbelieve in the hereafter and they incline to such speech because the person who believes in the hereafter then he knows that what my lord has said that is it is haq even if the whole world contradicts it the one who believes in the hereafter he knows that what the messenger uh, sallallahu alaihi wasallam has commanded that is the best even if the whole world goes against it 
preach against it. So it only people who have no faith in the hereafter who gets affected by their false speech. And then here their hearts are inclined towards it and they will be satisfied with it and they will commit that which they are committing. Because they do not need to change themselves. It's like somebody is giving them a license. Go ahead, continue what you are doing. You don't need to change. So they are happy with it. Whatever they are indulged into it, they are happy and still they are doing it. Say then, uh, the, the, say then, is that the other than Allah I should seek as judge? While it is who has revealed to you the book explained in detail. Means then Allah has revealed the truth in this book and we need to seek the truth somewhere else? No. Do we need other people to validate there? Do, no. Do we need uh, scientific evidence? Do we need a statement of uh, Aristotle or some other famous people from the history? No. Do we need their validation? We don't. Because what has come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is the truth, that is the fact. And those to whom we previously gave the scripture know that that is sent down from your Lord in truth. So never be among the doubts in the doubt ever never ever entertain doubts about the Quran about the Haq that Allah has revealed and we have seen in the Surah Al-Baqarah in the starting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says La raiba fihi hudal lil muttaqeen Ayah number 115 Wa tammat kalimatu rabbika sidqan wa adlan and the word of your Lord has been fulfilled in truth and in fairness. The word of your Lord, how is it? It is uh, complete. It is perfected. The Prophet ﷺ said, There is nothing that takes you to Jannah except that I have commanded you with it. There is nothing that takes you to hellfire except that I have forbidden you from it. So the Messenger Allah, the word of Allah or teaching Rasulullah, how are they? They are complete, they are perfect in truth, meaning they are, there is not even a fraction of falsehood in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is not even a fraction means not a lie. There is no error in the book of Allah. That is Quran. It is completely factual. It is completely true. One hundred percent accurate. But Adlan and the commands that the Quran gives, they are so fair. They are based on utmost justice and fairness. We think fairness is that each person should be treated equally. But there, but that is not fairness. Think about it, a child. Is he treated the same way as an adult? No, there is a huge difference. Haven't you ever seen that when you go somewhere with your child, people don't even look at you. Immediately their eyes go where? On the children. It's as uh, uh, as if, you know, you don't even exist. Then what they are going to uh, do, no greed, they, they adore the child, they ask the child, you know, they move on there. Because each is treated differently given who they are. A child is cuter and that's how. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, you know, giving examples and different way explaining to us. So here likewise we see that among women, for example, when you look at all women, all women are not the same. Their woman who is nursing, another woman who is pregnant, another woman who is married, so on. So who is single, another woman who is sick, if a bla uh, if a blanket statement, you know, if blank uh, statement was given, uh, all women have so have ha have to fast. But we have seen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, given the justice in that also. We have seen that ayah, how the ruksati has been given to different people in a different way. So Quran is based on uh, adal and there is uh, none who can change, you know. La mubaddila li kalimati. Nobody can do tabdil. No, nobody can alter the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa huwa samiul alim. He hears all. He knows all. Allah knows. Sami and alim. Ayah number 116. And if you obey most of the, those upon the earth, they will mislead you from the way of Allah. So what principle, uh, like, you know, are we being taught over here? The criteria for truth is not majority. Just because the majority is doing something, that doesn't mean that is truth. What is the truth? What is that we have to live by? What is it that we have to adhere? What do we learn? Is what Allah has revealed, not what the majority of the people are upon. 
so allah warns us that if you are start following the majority of the people thinking that they are right they must be doing something right there must be something right about it which is why the whole world is doing it no allah says if you follow them you will mislead you from the way of allah why because the majority of the people are not upon the truth what are they upon they are following their own will inna yattabiuna illa zanna they follow not except assumptions zan they are not following the truth they are not following the facts what are what are they following they are following assumptions meaning they haven't seen with their eyes they haven't heard with their ears they don't have factual knowledge because they are not studying quran they are not understanding it and here wa tammat kalimatu rabbika sidqin wa adlan and the words of the people the way of the people what they are based upon bias and also they are only falsifying they are only guessing you know zanna wa inna huwa yakhrusun is from qarasa you know they speculate or they guess and let's move to the ayah number 117 inna rabbaka indeed your lord he is most knowing of you who astray from his way is the most knowing of the rightly guided so eat that meat upon which the name of allah has been mentioned if you are believers in his verses means even when it comes to the matter of food don't just eat what you want to eat don't just eat okay whatever everybody is eating thinking is it halal is it tayyib is the meat on which the name of allah was pronounced is this food that uh, allah permit it is not like you have to check whether it is halal or haram you know and also we find out that they are see, um, uh, like uh, some people they misunderstand some of the things but we have to check that allah's name is pronounced not like you know after sacrificial uh, animal and they are thinking like you know even though um, you are eating not the halal food and you are saying bismillah and eating it no that's not the halal when sacrificing when doing the zabiha at that time taking the name of allah why should you not eat of that of that upon which the name of allah has been mentioned well he has explained in detail to you that what he has forbidden you except to that which you are compelled and indeed do many people led others astray to their own inclination without knowledge people they led others astray without any knowledge means like whatever they think they think that's okay and they misguide other people also indeed your lord he is most knowing of the transgressor and then leave what is apparent of sin and what is concealed thereof leave all the sins that is open and public innal ladina yaksibuna al isma so here indeed those who earn blame for sin meaning those who commit sin they will know that that is sin they do it again anyway they will be recompensed for that which they are, are used to do like you know whatever the sin they are coming and they will be recompensed for that which they used to commit here the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked about the good and bad virtue and vice versa he said virtue is a kind disposition and vice what evil and sin sin is ism it is that which bothers you in your heart and you don't want the people should come to know about it you know isma ma haqa fi sadrik you know you feel that restlessness and also you want to hide from the people and there is one more hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said sin is that in which neither the heart finds peace nor does it feel at ease you know you don't feel ease in your heart the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said be on guard against the unlawful ittaqa maharim takun abadan nas so what is unlawful be on guard against it means keep away from it and when you will do that you shall be the most worshiping among the people and ayah number 121 wala taakulu and do not eat of the upon which the name of allah has not been mentioned okay at the time of slaughter for indeed it is a great disobedience wa innahu lafasiqun it is a sin wa inna shaytana and indeed the devil inspired their allies among men to dispute 
with you and if you were to obey them and indeed you would be associators innakum lamushrikun and then indeed you will be among those who commit shirk and shirk is zulmun azim and let's move to surah al-an'am ayah number 122 aw man kana maytan fa ahyanahu wa ja'alna lahu nuran yamshi bihi fin nas and is one who who was dead how was he dead he was dead because of his disbelief he was dead because of his ignorance and we gave him life what kind of life the life of the iman the life of the knowledge and we made for him light by which to walk among the people can this person be like the one who is in darkness never to emerge there from no one person is in light the other person is darkness can they be both same no never ever they are completely different why because their thinking is different their actions they different their thoughts everything is different here who has given the quran whom the light of the quran has not yet reached can they be the same no it's so isn't it necessary necessary that people who do not yet know the quran they should be told about the quran should they not be informed we should inform and enlighten their hearts so do they not deserve that also like you know we have to tell them about the quran and the sunnah so that they know they will have the knowledge and they their heart is enlightened with the knowledge of iman kazalika ziyuna lil kafirina ma kanu ya'malun thus it has been made pleasing to the disbelievers that which they were doing so that we see in this ayat that allah is the one who guides so whenever we need clarity uh, whenever we need to deepen our understanding of anything who who is it that we need to ask only allah only he can guide us ahdina siratal mustaqim and thus we have placed within every city the greatest of its criminal to conspire there in but they conspire not except against themselves and they perceive it not and when a sign comes to them they say never will we believe until we are given like that which was given to the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah is most knowing of where he places his message they will afflict those who committed crimes debasement before allah and severe punishment for what they used to conspire they are very arrogant allah will humiliate them ibn abbas radhiyallahu anhu said but allah observed the hearts of his servants and he found the heart of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to be the best so he chose him and sent him with his message allah chose prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because of the purity of his heart so allah knows who to give prophethood to then here in ayah number 125 so whoever allah wants to guide he expand his heart to contain islam fama yurid allah an yahdiyahu yashra sadrahu lil islam and here um, ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abdur rasulullah so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam recited some quran to him and he said you see there that the well wishing for the people right the heart was good and what happened allah guide him even though there were so much external pleasure don't even go like you know you have to be on the straight path and remind yourself with the shahada laina sharaktum and if you are grateful when i will increase for you and here whoever he wants to misguide he makes his chest tight and constricted thus allah plays defilement upon those who do not believe wa haza sirat rabbika mustaqima and this is the path of your lord leading straight we have detailed the verse for the purpose who remember lahum darul islam in da rabbihim for them there will be the home of peace with their lord they will have the home of peace what a great reward for accepting the truth and he will be their protecting the friend wa huwa waliyuhum wa huwa waliyuhum allah will be their friend bima kanu ya'malun because of what they do 
لہم دار الاسلام اندور بہم وہ ولی ہم بیما کان یا ملون بیکاز آف واٹ دے یوز ٹو ڈو ناٹ واٹ دے یوز ٹو تھنک اونلی واٹ دے یوز ٹو ڈو ناٹ لائک یو نو دے یوز ٹو پلان اباؤٹ وین آئی ول ٹرن ٹوینٹی فائیو آئی ول ڈو دس وین آئی گیٹ میرٹ آئی ول ڈو دس نو دے ڈیڈ اٹ وین دے ڈیڈ اٹ دین اللہ ول ریوارڈ دین ہی ول بی دیئر فرینڈس یو نو فار ڈوئنگ دا گڈ یو ہیو ٹو ڈو سمینا بتانا ایز سون ایز یو ریئلائز اٹ اٹس ناٹ لائک یو نو یو گنو ہیو اے پلاننگ اینڈ دین ڈوئنگ اٹ وی ڈونٹ نو وے ٹل واٹ ٹائم ول بی الائی and mention of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the day when he will gather them together and say o company of jinn you have misled many of mankind and their ahlis among mankind will say our lord some of us made use of others and we have now reached our terms which you appointed for us he will say the fire is your residence so here the see the people who cooperate with each other in the sin what is their residence fire so even if the whole world suppose you in uh, doing something wrong it's not worth it's not worth it why because the end residence will be fire hell fire where you will be abide eternally except for allah's will indeed your lord is wise and knowing and thus will make some of the wrong towards allies of others for what they used to earn because a person seeks people who are like minded isn't it people who think same and they sit together and they talk and they are on the same deen like you know uh, people are on the deen of the friend and in ayah number 130 oh company of jinn and my, mankind they did not come to you messengers from among you relating to you my verses and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours they will say we bear witness against ourselves and the worldly life had deluded them and they will bear witness against themselves they were disbelievers right now it's very difficult to accept you know one wrong action even if the quran is shown evidences but you know even if the word of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam are shown as proof what happened it's very difficult for some people to accept that they are doing wrong to ac- acknowledge their own mistake let's think about ourselves like like you know it's very difficult to acknowledge our mistakes but remember if we don't acknowledge today if we don't fix them today then tomorrow there, there is no getting away from them we have to first of all we have to realize what mistake and then we have to rectify here only in this world and person will confess we bear witness against ourselves that is so hard why did they do wrong because the worldly life had deluded them they will bear witness against themselves that they were disbelievers so this also mentioned in surah al-mulk they were against themselves you know and they will be asked have any warner came they said yes kalu bala warner came that is because your lord would not destroy the cities for wrong doing while their people were unaware here people always want they are given knowledge first so have we been given knowledge of the quran of the haq yes now the test begins what do we do in ayah number 132 wali kulli darajatun مما عملوا وما ربك بغافل اما يعملون and for all are the decrees from what they have done and your lord is not unaware of what they do here wali kulli darajat each person has a rank according to what according to mimma amilu according to what they have done so each person status is according to his actions what is our rank before allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we do not know we do not know where we stand but we can see is that deeds that we are committing the, the deeds the actions that we are committing the words we are saying because ultimately our status is determined by our action that is mimma amilu and these actions that we do wama rabbika bighafilin amma yamalun and allah is not unaware what we do so we have to check ourselves what we are doing and we have the you know darajat in ayah number 133 wa rabbika ghaniyu zu rahma and your lord is the free of need the possessor of mercy meaning he did, he does not need you to obey him 
when you obey him you do not make him greater isn't it we like you know allah is ghani what do you elevate yourself what do you benefit yourself what do you enrich yourself because allah is ghani he is zu rahma the possessor of mercy so he has given us a chance to do something in our life he is merciful e yasha use hibkum if he wills he can do away with you and give succession after you to whomsoever he please he will just as he produced you from the descendants of another people so allah is ghani even from punishing his servants he does not uh, benefit by rewarding them he does not benefit by punishing them he does not need to reward us to or punish us when we are rewarded or when we are punished it's because of us because we gain or we lose we benefit or we lose anas radhiyallahu anhu said the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw an old man walking and he was being supported by his two son so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked about him that what's wrong with him why is he walking like that everything okay with him so the people said that his man had vowed to go on foot so the kaaba meaning he would not at all sit on a horse or camel or a donkey nothing he would just walk this is something that is difficult to do and clearly when he did it this old person okay what happened to him he was unable to walk so he was walking and taking the support of his two son so so that he could walk now he is putting himself in the hardship he also putting his children in the hardship so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said inna allah an ta'azib haza nafsuhu laghaniyun allah is not in need of this old man torturing himself you understand allah does not need it this man should torture himself and we we don't need to torture ourselves in order to please allah what do we need to do uh, what allah has asked us to do samana wa atana okay we we believe and we do and we respect and we do it then we do no benefit ourselves we leave it we harm ourselves so allah is ghani and here in ayah number 134 indeed what you are promised is coming death is coming it is approaching fast it is on its way and you will not cause failure to allah of course so where you run where you hide you can't hide from the death you can't escape from death ayah number 135 qul ya qaumi i'malu ala ma kanitukum inna amilun see oh my people work according to your opposition for indeed i am also working so what do we see here that once we know the truth once we get to know what allah has ordered then what is necessary amal action and you are going to know who will have succession in the home indeed the wrong doers will not succeed and the um, you know mushrikeen the polytheist assigned to allah from that which he created crop and livestock a share according to what according to their own wills and they say this is for allah by their claim and this is for our partners whom they associate with allah like you know they are doing shirk but what is for their parent does not reach allah while what is for allah is this reach their partners evil is what they rule here we see that mushrikeen they used to all allot shares of their produce a portion of their gods portion of each god so one portion was uh, dedicated to idol another portion dedicated to another idol and one portion they would dedicate to allah subhanahu wa taala now what would happen if ever the share portion they fell short okay they ra- ran out of it and they uh, what they will do they will still one or two idols left what do we like what they do they would take from allah's portion meaning the portion that they had given to allah they would give it to the idols what if they fell short in the portion of allah they would never ever take from that you know but for the idols they will exchange so if you had guessed over and over like you know 
like we have to understand they are doing on their own they are thinking if they give to ideal uh, idols they is that is good so here um, the hadith you learn that the woman who perform her fard then uh, she fast in ramadan and she is obedient to her husband and she can enter jannah from any gate so i am so good to my husband right so i can just pray for the, leave my sunna leave my th- no it's not that you can't neglect that thing okay so sub- submit yourself completely to allah evil is that watch what they rule here the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that allah says i am the best of all who are associated to me meaning all the partners they ascribe to me i am still the best allah is still the perfect whoever does an action while associating partner with me then is for the partner not for me so o oh, people make your action sincere for the sake of allah not for the idols and likewise to many of this polytheists their partners have made to them pleasing the killing of the children in order to bring about their destruction and to cover them with the confusion in their religion and if allah had will they would not have done so so leave them and which they invent you know killing children just imagine a child kill it's a crime mean i means the heart does not accept it isn't it like you know even if the child is killed in the womb mother's womb like have you ever seen like you know a uh, uh, woman being so happy about the baby that uh, if the you know baby is still in the womb and they are killing it that's so bad that is so harsh so killing a child is sinful whether the child is in the womb or has been given birth to this is a crime but yet we see that you know evil action has been made okay by the people isn't it that's not okay remember killing is a major sin prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked what is the greatest sin in the sight of allah he said that you set up a rival unto allah though he alone created you means shirk the person said indeed that is a great sin what is next the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to kill your son lest he should share your food with you to kill your own child out of fear that he will share your food with you or your money with you you shouldn't do that that's a crime surah al-anam ayah number 138 and they say the animals and crops are forbidden no one may eat from them except whom we will buy their claim and they are those camels whose back are forbidden by them and those upon which the name of allah is not mentioned they are you know telling themselves it's like you know self made laws are being refuted over here this is not from allah all of this is an invention of untruth about allah meaning they make these things up in the name of religion and they say oh we please god through this and likewise in the islam also so many things have been invented when the people practice them they say oh that they are doing it to please allah what is the evidence allah will be pleased through that it's you know whatever quran and sunna says apart from that they, it's their own will yeah they are doing on their own he will punish them for what they were inventing and remember inventing something in the religion is crime it's a crime it's a sin because then a person is ascribing a lie to allah he is saying allah ordered this where has allah did not order that i am number 139 and this is they say what is the bellies of these animals is exclusively for our males and forbidden to our females again you know self made law but if it is born dead then all of them have shared therein he will punish them for their description indeed he is wise and knowing those will have lost who kill their children in foolishness without knowledge and prohibited what allah had prob- provided for them inventing untruth about allah they have gone astray and they are not rightly guided they have gone astray by inventing these things by just following their forefathers in their error blindly isn't it we are for just following the forefathers blindly allah says they will suffer a loss they have suffered loss already i am number 141 and he is 
who causes gardens to grow both trellised and untrellised and palm trees and crops of different kinds of food and olives and pomegranates similar and dissimilar look at the variety of what allah has created in the you know in previous juz also we learned about many things that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us we are encouraged to reflect on these things if we want to learn about allah what is it we need to do reflect on his names attributes secondly reflect on his creation so over here we are being taught to reflect on these things that allah has created allah has cause gardens to grow different types of gardens trellis and trellis meaning plant that grow climb and uh, other plants that do not climb vines and also plants that are like trees palm trees you know how big the seed of the palm trees can be do you have an idea like you know it it can be the same weight as that for, of a fourth grader but this this big i can be the same weight but of a child in the grade 4 the heavy huge black huge solid dense that is the seed of a palm tree i'm not making this up you, you can you know google if you want to see allah has made this tree grow and crops of the different kinds of food and olives and pomegranates they are similar yet dissimilar eat of each of its fruit when it yields and also its due meaning give zakah give some charity out of it on the day of its harvest and be not excessive do not be excessive in consuming it means be moderate indeed who does not uh, like those who commit excess, excess allah don't like it and of the grazing livestock uh, are carry carriers of the burden and those too small eat of what allah has provided for you and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan indeed he is to you a clear enemy there are eight mates meaning the animals that has made halal for us these are eight mates of the sheep too and the goat too say it is two males he has forbidden or, or the two females or that which wombs of the two females contain inform me with the knowledge if you should be truthful again they, this is the false beliefs of the people being refuted here okay and this shows to us again no matter how common something has become in society just because everybody is doing something it doesn't make it right because th- these things have been become very common in the mushrik society they took as a part of the law of allah they forbid the female and they allowed the male animal they they said only the fat only this part only this part that part is halal and but allah is refuting okay or these are all self made laws it's not in the deen okay and they practice all these things inform me with the knowledge if you should be truthful inshallah rest will continue in next aya jazakallah khair subhanakallahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa atubu